Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told the US Congress on Wednesday, December 21st, that tens of billions of dollars of aid it had approved to help it fight a Russian invasion was not charity, but an investment in global security. In his first visit out of his country since the war began in February, Zelensky told lawmakers in the soaring House of Representatives chamber that he hoped they would continue to support Ukraine on a bipartisan basis, a major point as Republicans are due to take the majority in the House on January 3rd. Your money is not charity, Zelensky said, clad in the hockey fatigues that have been his public uniform throughout the 300 days of conflict. It is an investment in the global security and democracy. Following at a meeting at the White House with Democratic President Joe Biden, Zelensky's speech needed to resonate with House Republicans, who have voiced increasing skepticism about continuing to send so much aid to Ukraine. Zelensky's arrival was greeted with multiple raucous ovations in the nearly full chamber. Three members held up a large Ukrainian flag as he walked in. It is a great honor for me to be at the US Congress and speak to you and all Americans. Against all doom and gloom scenarios, Ukraine did not fall. Ukraine is alive and kicking, said Zelensky. We defeated Russia in the battle for the minds of the world, he said. Zelensky joined a long list of world leaders to address a joint meeting of the Senate and House, a tradition that began in 1874 with a visit by Hawaiian King Kalakoa and included almost legendary wartime visits by British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, as well as kings, queens, and one pope. House members and senators from both parties leaped repeatedly to their field to cheer parts of Zelensky's speech in English, such as Ukraine holds its lines and will never surrender, as he likened his country's battle against Moscow's forces to great battles of World War II and even the American Revolution. There are no signs of peace talks to end the war, and both Russia and Ukraine have signaled a willingness to keep fighting, although Zelensky said he discussed a 10-point Ukrainian peace formula with Biden. I'm glad that President Biden supported our peace initiative today. Each of you today, ladies and gentlemen, can assist in the implementation to ensure that American leadership remains solid, bicameral and bipartisan, Zelensky said to the lawmakers. We have no fear, nor should anyone in the world have it. Ukraine's gained this victory and it gives us courage, which inspires the entire world. Turn around. Yes. There we go. <laughs>